Okay, so welcome back. This is video number four. Let's talk about how to increase your approval rate when you apply to CPA networks. Now, to best understand how to get accepted into the top CPA networks, you need to understand what they're looking for and most importantly, what they are not looking for. All right, so you see most CPA networks, they're gonna interview you by phone, by Skype, by Telegram, which they're basically messenger systems. So if you don't know what to expect during the interview, they will in no doubt deny you. So if you follow this, it's not 100% guarantee, uh, but this is what has worked for us. So here is the secret on how to get approved every single time. Like I said, no guarantee, but this is what has worked for us. In fact, this has helped us bypass the interview process. Now, what we found is that sometimes, even though we do this, some really good CPA networks that uh, they have really high quality offers and they just, they got too many affiliates and they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to figure out the cream of the crop. So they want to know, can you actually drive them leads or are you somebody who's just going to ask them a lot of questions and not running any ads? So here's the number one solution that we have found works. You need to show that you are a legitimate business that knows how to drive leads. So how do we do that? Well, you can make sure that you have a website. We talked about you need to have a website, preferably something that's showing that you are a media buying agency, or in other words, you're somebody who goes out and you buy traffic or a digital marketing agency. So like I said, you need to have a WordPress website that looks really professional. One way to go about doing this if you don't have one right now is to simply go on themeforce.net, find a digital agency website or a media buying agency website, find one. And in fact, on themeforce.net is really neat but you can find a theme, you can pay somebody $50 and somebody will simply log into your website, they'll download the theme, they'll set everything up for you for 50 bucks. Then you can simply go in, you can edit the details with your information or you can simply pay them a little bit more money to add the content in. So having that, I found really, really helps because these affiliate managers, they will look at your website and they will say, okay, this person's legitimate or this person's a newbie, which way should I go? So we found that having a very professional website with information on there that shows that your media buying agency usually helps bypass the interview process. Now, once you have that in hand, you are closer to applying. So in other words, I don't recommend that you apply before not having a website. All right, so you realize that CPA networks don't wanna deal with people that are newbies. They might be okay if maybe you're being mentored by a super affiliate. You might say, hey, I'm being mentored by a super affiliate. You know, I am still learning, but I'm gonna be able to generate leads and I'm learning XYZ paid traffic because they wanna spend their time on somebody who can drive them leads, right? So just like you, you have a limited amount of time. You wanna spend that time on quality, either people or something that is going to generate revenue for you. Same thing. So if you present yourself as somebody who fits that profile and on that application, you tell that hey, I specialize in a very specific traffic source like pop ads, pop unders, maybe push notifications, which is a little box that comes out like Facebook when they alert you that somebody commented on your post. Those are basically what we call push notifications. And of course you got Facebook ads, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, if you talk about, hey, I specialize in XYZ, I run these types of offers, they usually don't even interview. They just get you in to the door. All right, so now you have the very basic blueprint. So just as a recap, 
have a very professional website, know what kind of traffic source that you're going to use to generate the leads. And that's pretty much it. So with that said, let's move on to video number five.